Now, I've never done this before, and I'm going to use egg replacer, so I'm going to get my ingredients ready, and let's start this brioche, because it does need to chill for a little while before we can roll it out and fill it up, turn it into a king cake, and bake it. To start our vegan brioche, we have to get our wet ingredients ready. First, I have three quarters of a cup of almond milk, original. Uh, over here and I'm gonna get this egg replacer going it's one tablespoon of egg replacer to two tablespoons of water I'm gonna use this almond milk instead of water so I want four eggs so I'm gonna do four tablespoons of egg replacer and eight tablespoons of almond milk, and I believe three tablespoons is a third of a cup or a quarter of a cup. Three tablespoons is a quarter of a cup, so I am just shy of three quarters of a cup of uh, liquid, so I'm just going to add another three quarters of a cup of liquid to this, making it a cup and a half, and put it in here and mix it together. It needs to thicken for about a minute. I believe that is all four. So now we have a cup and a half of almond milk and four tablespoons of egg replacer. Going into the bottom of my mixing bowl with a paddle attachment. I'm gonna do a little whisk of it first with my little whisk, just so that there aren't any clumps. And we just let it sit for about a minute. And I'm gonna mix up our dry ingredients. I've got two cups of all-purpose flour and two thirds of a cup of granulated white sugar, one packet of instant yeast, and a teaspoon of salt. Mix it together so that everything is e evenly distributed. Okay. I'm just going to let this sit one minute. It's been a minute. We're going to start mixing it on one and slowly adding the dry ingredients. Cup of flour. 
I think that that is just right. Now we're going to let this slowly mix on one and build the gluten. And then we are going to turn up the speed a little bit and add chunks of coconut oil, spoon by spoon, and let that get incorporated and then turn up the speed until it mixes and mixes and mixes and gets so strong that it all pulls away from the side of the bowl and wraps around the paddle. That's how you brioche. While our brioche is chilling, let's talk about the filling. So I made this orange filling over Christmas for orange rolls and it is like the rind of six oranges cooked down with sugar and water until it's almost dry but not quite and then uh, you let simmer for a long time and puree it with powdered sugar until it becomes like a thick spreadable um, deeply orangey spread and it also has uh, salt and nutmeg in it so I'm using that I took that out of the freezer I'm using about a cup of this orange filling with lots of nutmeg and then I have this cinnamon icing which is powdered sugar cinnamon granulated sugar and a little bit of milk it's deeply cinnamony and spicy and I think it'll go really well with the nutmeg so I'm gonna put that in there too and then I have the tofu de cream cheese I got two small containers of it. One of them will be for the icing, which will be vanilla-y and sweet. And then the other one I want to put in plain, maybe even with a sprinkle of salt on top into the center of the cake. So it's like 
orange, bitter, spice, cinnamon, cream cheese. So we still have a little bit of time while our brioche is chilling, um, but I've got all of my uh, fillings lined up here on the table, ready to go. And I'm really excited to fill this king cake. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time until it has proofed up a little bit in the refrigerator, probably um, doubled in size, uh, but it is also cold all the way around. Then we're gonna punch it down and we're gonna roll it out with some flour, fill it up, let it proof one more time and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Can't wait. Now it's time to start assembling our cake. Very nice. Strong, sticky, but not too wet. We want to get a nice big rectangle. With an even thickness. This looks pretty good. And now we'll start with our fillings. I want to do the orange first. And then the cinnamon. the cream cheese. Which I'm going to do in big chunks down the, the middle here so it can be a cream cheese center. a teeny tiny sprinkle of salt on top of the cream cheese. Now we get to roll it up. I'm going to go over the cream cheese first. That'll be the center. sticky here onto the table. That's okay. Coming up. 
All right, now we want to draw it over and pinch the bottom, seal it up really good so you don't lose any of that beautiful filling. And then I've got a pan. We're going to gently put this in the pan like this. Sort of twist it around because it's a little moist to seal, so I'm just gonna a little twisty. Now this is going to rise for about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, and go in the oven at 350 degrees. Now to start the icing, I have another container of the tofu de cream cheese in here with two cups of powdered sugar, and it's going to be paddled in the mixer until smooth, and I will see if I need to add a little bit of milk or a little more sugar to get the consistency just right. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pure vanilla extract for some flavor. Our icing is finished mixing and I'm going to divide it into three bowls for coloring. I added a little bit of extra sugar to get it a little bit thicker, and I added about a, almost a whole tablespoon of vanilla. All right. Now we want one yellow one. Oh, this isn't even open. Want to be pretty bright. That's nice. One yellow one. One green one. Getting a little sticky. Yeah, this one's not open either. Well, that's quite the green, huh? It's a little dark, maybe. And I add a touch of yellow to it, brighten it up. Made it a little bit more grassy, Kelly, -y. Kelly Greeny. Gotta rinse my fingers. Now we have to make the very precise red to blue mixture to make a good purple. We want a good deep royal purple for this. Green in there, that's okay. Oh yeah, that's purple. That's a pretty good purple. That's a good fast purple, wow. I usually have to mess with purple for a little while. It's still, it's pretty blue, it's pretty blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more red. Let's 
so dark. Should I add some yellow? Uh, probably not. I'll just have it be this dark purple. That's okay. That's nice. Yum. Now the oven is preheated and the cake has proofed. You can check it out. And it's ready to go in the oven. I'm not going to egg wash it or anything because it's going to get covered in icing. So there we go. Center rack of a 350 degree oven, probably for 40 minutes total. At a whopping 45 minutes in the oven, our king cake is golden brown and just breaking open to release some of its beautiful, delicious smelling filling. Now we have to let it cool, and I mean really cool completely. Be completely patient with this before we ice it. So we're gonna put it on a rack. We're gonna wait for it to cool, and then we get to put our fun colored icing on it and take it off and put it on a plate or a cutting board and then cut into it and taste it. Mm. Yum. It's time to put some final touches on this cake and give it a taste. So I put our icing in little sandwich bags so that I could just toss them when they're empty. Yellow, green, and purple, Mardi Gras colors. Getting a little full of icing there in the middle. I'm gonna see about uh, moving it. And I'm not gonna use all the purple, because we don't need that much icing. You know what, to save myself the trouble of the cleanup, I'm not gonna move it, I'm just gonna leave it right here on its pan. I can't wait to cut into that baby. It's finally time for my favorite segment of the episode, the taste test. Oh wow, look at this beautiful cream cheese center. Oh, it's still warm. I am not very patient. I could not wait. I iced it, and I'm going to try it, and I'm getting food coloring all over my hands. This looks beautiful. The crumb on this brioche looks wonderful. I know it's a little yellow. Sorry about the lighting. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. This is delicious. And decadent. I love king cake. Mm. I have tried six other king cakes so far. 
this carnival season. This one makes uh, seven. And another one is coming home tonight, which will make eight. So, my king, came, king cake game is strong. Thanks for joining me. Mm. And I hope you enjoy some king cake this season. See you next time.